Into math third grade lesson 5.1, use the distributive property. I can use the distributive property to find a product when one factor is a multiple of 10. We will start by reviewing the distributive property vocabulary, which states that multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each add-in by the number and then adding the products. They give an example here of five times seven. You'll notice that the seven is broken into um, three plus four, and this is a strategy to help make numbers that are easier to multiply. Then we create parentheses of five times three and five times four, because five needs to be multiplied by both of the numbers, and we write their products, and then we add their products, and we get the answer of 35. Please gather your workbook and a pencil and turn to page 117. You may pause this video um, to gather these materials if needed. We will start under Spark Your Learning. Three friends place four rows of 30 tiles each on a swimming pool floor. Each friend uses the distributive property to show the number of tiles they placed. Gina says, I showed a sum multiplied by a number. Roy says, I showed a sum of three products. Bree says, I showed the sum of three numbers. Show how each friend used the distributive property. Then write an equation to find the number of tiles. So next to our problem, we have a visual showing the four rows and then the 30 tiles. And our job is to find out how each friend, Gina, Roy, and Bree, each use the distributive property to find out the number of, of tiles used. So let's take a look at each friend. First, we'll start with Gina. Gina says um, she used a sum multiplied by a number. So we know the word sum means when you put something together, add it, and she also multiplied by a number. So when Gina approached this problem, she saw that there were four rows, and then I think she saw that there were 10 in each row. So it says that she added a sum, so there were 10, 10, and 10. So I think she saw this first and thought, oh, well this seems easy to me to add 10 plus 10 plus 10 to find out the total amount of squares in each of the four rows. So she used the distributive property by first adding 10 plus 10 plus 10 to find the total number of squares, and then she multiplied, it tells us she multiplied by a number, and that number was four. She multiplied by four because there were four rows. And you can pause the video and try this on your own if you'd like and come back. But 10 plus 10 plus 10 makes 30. And then she just multiplied 4 by 30. And when you do that, you would get 120. So that was Gina's um, way that she used the distributive property. When Roy looked at the tiles, it says, I showed a sum of three products. So when Roy looked at the tiles, Roy saw four and 10 and knew that this array was four by 10, this whole array right here. But then he saw another one, which would be here, and another one. Roy used the distributive property by taking four times 10 and adding it to four times 10 and four times 10. So he had a sum, he added 
the product of three products. So product one, product two, and product three. If you'd like to pause and try to solve this on your own and come back, you may do so. Otherwise, you can follow along. Four times 10, the first one makes 40. <clears throat> four times plus, four times 10 makes 40, and four times 10 makes 40. And when we add 40 plus 40 plus 40, we will find the answer of 120. Bree says, I showed the sum of three numbers. So Bree looked at each array and knew that this was 40, this array was 40, and this array was 40. And the strategy that she used to complete the problem was just to add the sum of three numbers. And when you add 40 plus 40 plus 40, you will get 120. If you would like to re-watch this video, you may go back at any time and pause along the way as needed.